Many of the main components of Budget 2013 were flagged well in advance. These include a property tax and rises in PRSI, certain excise duties and motor tax. Continuing economic challenges and strict expenditure commitments meant that the Irish government had limited room for manoeuvre in framing the budget. Whilst there was no increase in the rates of income tax or universal social charge payable, most taxpayers will be faced with funding additional property taxes starting in July 2013 and most will also face PRSI increases. The headline tax items include a property tax of 0.18% of the self-assessed valuation on properties under 1 million euro and 0.25% on the balance. An increase in excise duties on alcohol and tobacco. PRSI increases for most taxpayers. And motor tax increases. From a business perspective, the budget contained a number of measures designed to support enterprise. These include Encouraging innovation by doubling the R&D tax credit eligibility level from €100,000 to €200,000. Reforming the three-year corporation tax relief for startup companies to allow unused credits to be carried forward. And helping improve cash flow by increasing the cash receipts basis threshold for VAT from €1 million Euro to €1.25 million. Euro. And amending the close company surcharge de minimis level. However, the government also increased the rates of capital gains and capital acquisitions taxes by 3% to 33%, a move that will be considered unwelcome by many. Budget 2013 also provided for additional funding supports for business. Notably, the National Pensions Reserve Fund will launch a range of support funds, initially ranging in size from €100 million Euro to €400 million Euro, to provide equity, credit and recovery investment to certain SME sectors. So what are the implications of Budget 2013 for Irish-based business? Let's look at the context within which this budget was set. It was set within a context of a very difficult fiscal position. Uh, significant international tax competition and the whole fairness debate which is uh, uh, raging internationally. So the Minister was constrained in what he could do uh, and overall what he did was to take the approach which is likely to be least damaging to business uh, in terms of the taxes that were raised and he also brought some incentives in for the SME sector. If you look at those incentives for the SME sector, you'd say that individually they're not particularly significant, but cumulatively they may have some impact. And there's some good stuff in there for some sectors like aviation, for tourism, uh, some good things in for the property market, in particular around the, the real estate investment trust structure that's been brought in. I think that's going to have a potentially uh, significant positive for that sector, and in particular for international investors coming into Ireland. For the specific tax details of Budget 2013, get the KPMG app and download your own copy of Taxing Times at kpmg.ie.